Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be on, once again, nail art. So in this video, I have made a mixture of, it's a metal flake that is like um, gold. It's literally chunks of little pieces of metal. Um, so what I'm doing is I've created a mixture with clear acrylic and that nugget to get what you're seeing. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the nail. And then once I put that onto the nail, I'm going to come back and encapsulate it. So for this one, I want to make sure that I encapsulate it really good because I plan on putting a clear coat of um, gel polish on top to make it really shiny and pretty. Um, so what I don't want to happen is when I get ready to um, clean the nail up with my drill, I don't want my drill bit to come in contact with those metal flakes because I don't want them to damage that bit. I've had my nail bit for um, probably maybe four, four or five years now, um, and that is a really good bit. Um, I don't have any issues with it, and I don't want to have to replace it if it's not broken, so I want to make sure I encapsulate that really good. So now we're going to move on to the next design. This design I did apply um, some clear acrylic that you can't see. I applied it before I started applying the mixture. Um, and the reason why I applied the base acrylic up there first is because this design in particular, I would like for the metal flakes to sit on the outside of the acrylic so that it gives a texture to the design. So I will not be encapsulating this nail. So when I got ready to lay my acrylic, I really wanted to make sure it was super smooth because I knew I was not going to have a chance to go back over it with the drill to clean it. However, if you're trying this look and your, your foundation for your acrylic was not as smooth as you liked it to be, before you put that texture um, acrylic on top, the nuggets or whatever you want to call it, the metal flakes, you will want to go ahead and file that down with your drill before applying the next step. Um, so basically, I applied my foundation and then I just put this on top um, because I want it to show texture and you'll get to see that towards the end of the video where I'm just going to apply a clear coat of gel polish to make it shiny, but I'm not going to go back over it with the drill and fix anything with it. Like I want it to have that texture look. So I'm being really careful on how I'm placing those nuggets. I'm not worried about the little metal nugget flakes um, falling off because they are still kind of encapsulated in that acrylic. Um, there is some acrylic holding onto them where it looks wet and shiny that's actually acrylic holding them in place. So once that acrylic dries, it's going to set um, those nuggets in place so we don't have to worry about them moving. you guys so now that's the finished look and we're going to be moving on to the next look so for this look um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my acrylic foundation first 
However, um, if you're completing this on someone on an acrylic tip, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this step. You could skip it, but if you are applying this to someone's natural nails, I will go ahead and lay a, um, a foundation down. And the reason being that I'm going to go ahead and lay that foundation down is because these um, flakes are once again a type of metal and I don't want that sitting on someone's nail bed. I don't know what reactions it could have. Um, so if I was doing it on someone's natural nail, I would apply a foundation first um, and then I would apply the design mixture. Um, but if it's on a tip, like I said, I wouldn't even worry about it. So right now, I'm just coming in and smoothing it and laying it. So the design that I'm going to create in this clip that we're about to watch is a French tip using those little nugget flakes um, that we've been using throughout the video. So now I'm just coming in and kind of cleaning it up to get like that perfect little smile line. Um, once I get that created, I'm going to go ahead and come in and encapsulate the whole entire nail just so that it's flush and um, I can go back and smooth out any imperfections um, and really polish that thing on up. So now I'm encapsulating. Um, if there's anything that you guys would like to see me do, please shoot me a message, whether it's um, through Facebook, through um, YouTube, or if it's just sent to my email directly. I'm always um, looking for new things to create for you guys.
so now that this design is completed I'm just gonna set it to the side and get ready to start working on to the next design so I'm going to use my pink powder um, because I'm going to be creating a color look this time to let you guys kind of see how that gold nugget looks on color Okay, so now that that's finished, I'm just going to go ahead and um, even these out, buff them, shine them, and then I'm going to polish them so that you can see what the finished product looks like. Isn't that so pretty? So for this one, I did not go in and buff or um, polish it because this is one of the texture looks. I am just going to go over it with the gel polish and I'm going to make sure I evenly distribute that gel polish because I don't want it to be like kind of clumpy to where you can't tell it's a 3D design. Um, 
So I just want it to look shiny where the acrylic dried and it may look a little dull. Bring some life to it. So this one is a bonus clip coming up. I didn't show you guys how I made it, but basically it's just another 3D textured one where I did not encapsulate it and it's sitting on top of the pink acrylic. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what it will look like um, after it is done um, with color. However, the next one is encapsulated and so I did um, go over that one, smooth it out, and now I'm just adding some gel polish to it. This is the finished look. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you follow, like, and share, and subscribe.